the question is are all married women unhappy in their homes are they all unhappy or is just majority or probably just few and so many are happy so if you're married and you're happy you're 100 100 percent happy you know let us know that in the comment section okay and if you're married and you're unhappy let us also know down in the comment section because yeah we do not sugarcoat anything so let us know that comment section so let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch then i'll come back at the end of the video the number of women that we are seeing on social media who are exposing the truth about their marriages, talking about the fact that they do 90% of the housework and their husband does not appreciate it, or the women who are saying that, I just found out my husband of 30 years, who is a, a, a church pastor, has been cheating on me with countless sex workers for our entire marriage, or the women who are leaving their husbands the day after the wedding because he couldn't even respect you enough to not smash cake in your $1,600 face. It's alarming. And I feel so torn because I'm like, is it actually like this? Like, is every married woman actually unhappy or actually in a super toxic relationship that no one should really be proud of? Is it actually like this? Or does it just seem like it's everybody because it's on social media? Like, think about the fact that we have access to all of these people's stories who ordinarily we would never, we wouldn't even know this many people existed in the world if we weren't all on TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. So it's like you're getting way more information than you would ever have access to. And then also add in the fact that once you start interacting with that type of content, that's what you're going to get over and over and over and over and over again. So... It might just feel like every woman in the world is unhappily married and being cheated on by her husband, but it actually is really not that many. Like, I can't tell. Is it just me being stuck in my own bubble or is that actually what's going on? Like, I literally had to start following like a couple of black love, black relationship blogs and vlogs type of things because I have to have something to counteract all of the negativity that we are being shown about marriage and then obviously of course every marriage is different and and for all i know when i get married i mean i hope to god that it will be completely different from what i've seen on social media but ha have hasn't have an all married woman said that like when i get married it'll be different doesn't everybody say that i don't know y'all it's just really starting to freak me out it's starting to freak me out because it is really feeling like is are, are we wasting our time wanting to be married to men I, I don't want that to be the truth. I don't want that to be the truth. I hope to God that it's not the truth. But Jesus, y'all are just making such a terrible reputation for yourselves. Like the PR team for marriage is just like, y'all done thrown in the towel completely. Y'all not even trying no more. I, I think the PR team has started actively working against marriage. Like it's just not, things are not making sense. Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your girl Maria Davis and I'm back again with another interesting video. <laughs> are all married women unhappy in their homes? Because come to think of it, when you see the kind of videos we see most of the time on the internet, there are videos that women are like, don't get married, married this, married that, blah, blah, blah. Men are showing them shaggy. Shaggy is men are showing them problems. Problems. <laughs> and some people that are not married, you see them put in the comment section, my marriage will be the best in Jesus' name. My marriage will be different. I will marry and I'll be happy. Hmm. And... <laughs> You know, when I see those comments, I'll just be laughing. I'm like, you are seeing things. <laughs> you are seeing unmarried to destroy people. You are still hoping to get married. Like, make it make sense. I really, I can't understand how those people think. I don't understand how they think anyway. But then, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Do you think all marriage, all married women are unhappy in their relationship? And why do you think they are all unhappy in their relationship? Let's go ahead and watch. I just have like two, three stitches to share with you all. So let's go ahead and watch the stitches together. And at the end of all the stitches, I will share my own opinion. Is every married woman actually unhappy or... 
I would like to start out by saying I have only been married for six years, so I don't know a whole lot, but I know a little bit, a little bit. Is every married woman unhappy? The answer is no. Is marriage tough? Tough. <laughs> tough. Tough. The answer is hell yes it is. Marriage is like any other relationship. You gotta go through the growing pains, the growing stages and things like that. It's kind of like, to me, the best way I have ever explained marriage, it's kind of like a friendship. You will hit a, a bump here and here. Like... How sometimes, you know, your friend might talk to you funny or might respond to you in a specific way. You got to check them and get it right. You got to communicate how you want to be treated, how you want to be loved and things like that. That's the same thing with marriage. There's no such a thing as marrying somebody who knows how to marriage. <clears throat> that doesn't exist. Because <laughs> unless you have done it before, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So you got to learn how to marriage. I think a lot of people are also unhappy because they got married to have the title of being married and not actually work to stay married. Um, with that, men are difficult. So if you end up marrying a man who does not realize how they're wired and how they've been uh, conditioned, <laughs> then yeah, you are going to be in a very unhappy marriage. I'm not saying women are all that and a, a bag of chips. I'm just saying 9 out of 10, a woman is willing to uh, change and grow than a man. Most men, they, they, they go in with the I'm the king mentality. I'm the head of the household. I'm the head of, uh, head of what household? You can't even get your shit together. So how do you think you're going to get us together? <sighs> so yeah. Um, to go back to the original question, no, not all women are unhappy married, but, uh, <coughs> there isn't as many happy marriages as there is bad marriages, if that makes sense. They're just, they're just very rare. And in order for you to be in a happy marriage, you and the person you're married to, you have to decide to be partners. And... I low-key think you have to be done away with gender roles as well because gender roles just puts you in a very... Eventually, it kind of puts you in a bitter place one way or the other. It just... It, you get burned out. Once... if you, When you're partners, it's like you work together, you're a team... You're teamwork, teammates... You get to learn to be friends. You get to learn to... <clears throat> you get to learn so much when you're partners. When when you're just looking for a husband and they're looking for a wife, then what, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> so, here is my little advice. You can get married, but your marriage is what you make of it. You get to define your marriage. You get to define your relationship with the person that you're married to. If you allow society, family, friends, social media, whatever, to tell you how to marriage, you will not make it. You will not be happy. You have to figure out a recipe that works for your marriage. You have to figure out ways that 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 you and your partner can meet can meet can meet together to make your marriage work that's the best advice i would ever give somebody yeah mm -hmm, that's it comment below tell me what you think and i will respond like is every married woman actually unhappy no, I just think that there are a lot of people who have things twisted because they have prioritized their wedding over an actual marriage. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, millennial wife, mom, and homie, and I'm going to give you my unsolicited opinion about this because I feel I can. <laughs> Bear with me, my thoughts might be all over the place because I didn't sort them out, but I'm just going to I'm just going to share. One thing that I've noticed is that there's so many people 
that seem to be more preoccupied with their hair, the dress, the venue, who's the bridesmaids, who's not the bridesmaids, the groom and what's everyone wearing, the picture, all of this for the big day and not willing to invest that type of energy into their relationship, into marriage counseling, um, into dealing with existing issues. And then they just carry the stuff into the marriage. Before my husband and I had gotten married, we went to marriage counseling. It was actually mandatory by our pastor. And there were a few things that we were trying to sort out. And one thing that he did say, he was like, please understand that whatever is happening in your relationship right now, whatever is an issue will still be an issue going into your marriage. So the thing is, is you need to figure out and sort tools that you can use so that you guys can cope, not make the same mistakes, do better, etc. And from there on, it like stuck in my head that I was like, okay, so nothing is ever perfect. No one, no relationship, no marriage is ever perfect. It's really just, again, two people who are willing to commit to each other and figure things out as they go along. And if you're not on that foundation where number one, like the person that you're going to be married, if they're not as cliche as they say, if they're not your best friend, like I've said this once and I will say it twice and I'll say it a million zillion times. If they are not your best friend, like you genuinely like them, not love because love is whatever, but like if you don't genuinely like this person, then I don't. It just seems doomed. It just seems doomed. That's my honest opinion. On another side of it too, obviously the negativity, negative anything always goes a lot more further than the positive stuff. And if you look, you will see plenty examples of happy, long lasting, strong relationships. Again, not without fault because nothing was a, is without fault. We are not perfect people and two imperfect people coming together. What do we expect is going to happen, right? It all falls back on the laurels of that we have committed to each other and we're trying to be better and maybe, you know, irritations and things might happen. But at the end of the day, it's two people trying to be better for each other. As I say this with uh, one of my wedding pictures in the back. <laughs> all right. If you're seeing it, let me know your thoughts, your opinion, your suggestion down in the comments section all opinions accepted if you can you put them down respectfully the question is are all married women unhappy in their relationship yes is that yes or no but if you ask me i don't know the answer <laughs> i don't know the answer because hmm you all marriage is one of the biggest lie sold to women in our society. It is a fantasy sold to women in our society. The only people that can come out and tell you they are fully happy in their marriage are men. A woman is always going through one or two things in the marriage that is making her unhappy and that's because it's coming from the man there is always there must always be something unless you are lying to yourself unless you are being the Lulu but if you're being true to yourself and you're facing the fact there is always one two three like that that is making you unhappy in that marriage it's always like that it's normal because marriage doesn't benefit women marriage doesn't benefit women the only person that marriage benefits the only people that marriage benefits the only people that are enjoying this marriage are the men so when you ask are, men, are women really unhappy in their marriage? I don't know. 99% <laughs> yes, it's true. It's like percent of the time, it's true. <clears throat> of course, don't get me wrong. Nobody's perfect, okay? We are all imperfect. And even two friends together, they have issues, you know? 
but you can't compare when you're married with somebody staying in the same house with a person opposite sex, especially married to a man staying in the same house see what annoys me most is when you see some posts of some women coming out to call out their husbands or to tell people that you know marriage this marriage that i wish i never did this i wish i never did that the comments bust my head because always bust my head most of the time because you see single girls single ladies that want to get married aspiring to get married start saying oh my whole marriage will be different i'm going to be happy in my own marriage i claim this 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 this, this. like are you not afraid <laughs> To enter into this institute called marriage after seeing so many things that these men are doing to their wives so many things that like it's clearly same because this men see men get away with a lot of things that women can never get away with in marriage so I really don't understand why some women are still like mm -mm, I must get married I must get married like I'm not saying you don't get married, I'm not saying stay single forever, but know what you want and know what you're getting into because what you think you're seeing out there, it is true. And it takes a lot of boldness for these women to come out and express themselves. Most women cannot talk. They are dying in silence. So when you see some women and their men you know husband and wife happy you be like oh this two this couple in fact they love each other they are together they are perfect ah i love the way you treat her hmm you really don't know what the woman is going in, going through because most of the time these women don't have who to talk to they don't know what to say that's why you see most people ranting on social media especially anonymously because they can't talk to family, they can't talk to friends, they can't talk to anybody they know because of the way they've made the old thing to look like, oh, they have a perfect relationship. They will always be going through one or two things that is making them unhappy in the relationship. It now depends on the level of what you're going through will determine oh, how, you're, how long you're going to stay in that marriage. But if you ask me if you should get married, <laughs> I will say, mm -mm know what you're getting into marriage is favorable for only men most of the time like most of the time men are the ones that are benefiting this marriage this marriage is just the, one of the biggest lie sold to us women they just tell you no when you're going to get to the stage all you need to do is get married do this do this do that yes you get married you know your wedding is beautiful you know, then you start saying some things. But then, who am I? <laughs> I'm just Mara David sharing my opinion. Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I know some of you might agree with not all married women are unhappy. Let me know. You can just tell me what your thoughts are down in the comment section. I'd like to hear from you all. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and please when you subscribe kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified each time i upload interesting videos like this one <laughs> all right and i'll see you all in my next video